guys welcome back to the next biology lecture so today in this lecture we are going to cover the nucleus so nucleus is the largest cell organelle so at first we're going to label the nucleus so this is how the nuclear looks like so this outer thing of this nucleus is called the nuclear envelope this is often called the nuclear membrane so you can either call it the nuclear envelope or sometimes it's also called the nuclear membrane so this nuclear envelope sort of actually surrounds this nucleus from all sides and this actually uh, this is like this forms an outer layer and this is actually a, a double membrane structure so as you can see this is the outer membrane this line and this is the inner membrane so we can see that this is actually a double membrane structure okay so and it is often joined or connected with the endoplasmic reticulum so if you guys have seen my last video where i cover cell structure the typical animal cell we actually talked about endoplasmic reticulum and as you can see since it has this small small ball like structure these are the ribosomes so since it has ribosomes attached to it this is actually called the rough endoplasmic reticulum okay so this nuclear envelope as you can see is continuous with the endoplasmic reticulum so that's a main thing about nuclear envelopes so this is around the nucleus the entire nucleus is basically only this much this ball like structure is called the nucleus and this is surrounded by the endoplasmic reticulum okay the next thing is that this jelly like or fluid like consistency kind of like the cytoplasm it also has a similar name it's called the nucleoplasm nucleo plasm it has the same consistency as the cytoplasm and that's why it's called the nucleoplasm it has a similar name nucleo because of nucleus and plasm because of cytoplasm okay this is often called the cytoplasm of the nucleus okay okay the next structure which we're going to cover let's see okay the next structure we are going to cover is this one um this one this is this ball like structure as you can see this is a large highly stained structure inside the nucleus this is called the nucleolus so what is the function of the nucleolus the main function of the nucleolus is that it synthesizes or it produces r ribosomes okay its main function is to produce or synthesize ribosome so it has genes for r rna so r stands for ribosomal rna it also has genes for making t rna and according to the information genetic information it actually synthesizes these rna molecules okay and of course its main function is to synthesize or to produce ribosomes another important feature of this nucleolus which you have to remember is that after after ribosome synthesis ceases or after it stops this nucleol and during cell division this nucleolus actually disappears so after the ribosomal synthesis stops and during nuclear division so this nucleolus structure actually disappears okay so when does this nucleolus appear this nucleolus structure actually this nucleolus different parts of the nucleolus actually combine together to form this large rounded highly stained nucleolus and after it's in to produce or manufacture ribosomes and after this actually produces these small small ats ribosomes as we have this nucleolus structure actually disappears okay it mainly disappears during nuclear division we're going to talk in details about nuclear division when we le uh, when we reach that chapter okay and we are going to also talk in details about the production of ribosomes when we read about the central dogma of biology okay so that's what we learned about the nucleolus so that's very important organelle inside the nucleus next we can see okay let me rub these things off for a bit okay the next thing which you can see is this one this coiled kind of structure this is actually called the chromatin often it's called the chromatin fiber so what is the chromatin 
so the chromatin is basically a combination of dna plus histone proteins so this histone proteins whenever it combines with this dna when it combines with this histone protein this causes it to form this kind of folded structure okay you can see these structures are kind of like folded and folding like folded together okay and become like this shape inside the nucleus so this shape of folded enclosed dna is caused by this histone protein so histone proteins combined with dna actually forms this chromatin and as you know dna is basically stores our genetic information because it has genes which is the unit of inheritance so these genes actually controls uh, our genetic makeup and uh, gives information about the cell okay so that's where the that's where the chromatin comes in okay the other structure which we have to remember are these small hole like structure these are called the nuclear pore so as you can see within the nucleus in between the envelopes there are small gaps over here in all, all places okay these gaps as i said is called the nuclear pore so nuclear pore as you can see actually controls the entry and exit of substances are uh, in and out of the nucleus certain substances enter in certain leave so certain substances enter and certain substances leave example of substances we enter the nucleus are actually uh, different types of uh, okay one minute what happened with my pen anyways so substances okay let's see the substances which leave the nucleus are as we have said already mentioned in the nucleolus different types of uh, proteins uh, different types of ribosomes are produced so these ribosomes actually leave the nucleus through the nuclear pore so ribosomes actually leave the nu uh, leave the uh, leave the nucleus through the nuclear pore then different types of tRNA can leave the nucleus through the nuclear pore uh, as we have also mentioned tRNA is produced rRNA can also leave sometimes messenger RNA or mRNA can also leave through the nuclear pore out of the nucleus so substances which enter the nuclear pore are proteins certain kinds of proteins you're going to learn about proteins so these proteins are used for the synthesis of ribosomes so as you know everything is protein so ribosomes are also used for protein synthesis but certain proteins are required for the synthesis of ribosomes these proteins actually enter the nucleus through these nuclear pores uh, next uh, different types of ATP which is uh, which releases energy can uh, which is adenosine triphosphate can also enter different types of nucleotides can also enter the nucleus through the help of these nuclear pores and sometimes certain thyroid hormones such as tissue hormones can also enter this nuclear pore as you can see okay okay so now let's see the next part so yeah so yeah i think i've already covered all this uh, structure of the nucleus so now uh, let's have let's go for a very quick recap of what you have seen uh, okay i'm sorry extremely sorry for that okay now yep so this was it okay yep that's a nucleus so yep so if we uh, take a look at once again at the different structure we covered here are uh, this is our nuclear pore this was a nuclear envelope so the function of this nuclear envelope is actually it protects the nucleus it actually surrounds the nucleus from all end this is a double membrane structure and this is often connected with the endoplasmic reticulum and it is continuous with this endoplasmic reticulum so that's what the nuclear envelope does then we uh, learned about this chromatin so this chromatin is actually a combination of dna and histone proteins which causes it to form this enfolded structure inside the nucleus and it shows the genetic information as it has dna then we learned about this nuclear pore so the nuclear pore controls entry and exit of substances in and out of the nucleus example of substances giving the nucleus are, are ribosomes rRNA, tRNA, mRNA 
and substances entering include uh, ATP, so adenosine triphosphates, nucleotides, different types of thyroid hormones and different types of proteins which are used for the synthesis of ribosomes. Then we cover this part which is called the nucleolus. So this nucleolus actually um, synthesizes ribosomes as a main function and it also has genes for making rRNA and genes for making tRNA. And then we cover this uh, fluid-like structure which is called the nucleoplasm nucleoplasm which is also sometimes known as the cytoplasm of the nucleus because it has a similar consistency as the cytoplasm okay so yeah that's it for this video we are going to cover about the endoplasmic reticulum and all this other structure and cell organelles in the later videos so stay tuned for that and thanks for watching